evening all. Afternoon everybody. Morning to you all. Hope you're well. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you're having a lovely day and all that. Uh, we are down at bees. However, we're not beekeeping today, unfortunately. Um, I'll explain. Well, actually, no, I'll just go straight into it. A couple of things have been put to me on various social media. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, malarkey. Um, so basically, why aren't I beekeeping? Why aren't I getting into the hives? Why aren't I doing this, that, and the other? Whereas so many YouTubers are now, you know, they're getting into their hives and inspecting and, and all that. Even, some of the ones even done here in the UK. Um, I'll tell you exactly the reason why. Uh, it's basically, it's too cold, in my opinion. So last week, beautiful weather. It was, it really looked like spring had come. It was awesome. We had sun, we had a little bit of rain, but we had mainly sun and warm, which was lovely. However, we did know that a cold snap was coming and it's hit us. So the cold snap is by, by the by what I mean by cold snap, you know, I don't mean that, you know, we're getting to the lows like they do over in the States and in Canada and things like that. Cold for us this time of year is we're looking at around, you know, seven, eight degrees during the day, but nights get down to about minus one, minus two. And even today, you know, it might look lovely at the moment. 30 seconds ago we had snow. So that's kind of how this sort of day is going and it's been snowing throughout the day. Um, so because I knew what was coming, because I knew what weather was coming on, I haven't gone into my hives last week. Now another question is put to me about what are my concerns about swarming? And I'll go on to that in just a second. But um, it, as far as I'm concerned with my girls, last week I didn't go into them because I knew the cold was coming and I don't want to disturb them too much, which is why I've left them alone and which is why I will be leaving them alone for a little bit longer. Next week, the weather is starting to turn again and we are getting some warmer weather once again. So potentially next week is when my season's gonna start. I did a little short a couple of days ago, um, one of many. Uh, I did a little short a little while ago, but then the next week the season starts. And for a lot of beekeepers it has done, but, oh, chilly wind. but for me, unfortunately it hasn't. Um, so that's the reason I'm not going into it at the moment. The insulation is still on my hives. They're still being fed fondant. Uh, Eve is the only one that hasn't got fondant on her at the moment. She's eating all that, but I hefted her just a second ago and she's still got a good weight to her. So I'm not concerned about food levels. I'm not worried about any of them starving at the moment. Um, so move on to my concerns about swarming. Now, obviously with the, the heat which has come in, the, the queen started laying again, the hives are growing really well. And again, Eve, we looked at the other week, she is bursting at the seams with bees at the moment. She's looking really, really well. But you are only looking at the top of the cluster there. All my hives, and I'll move on to now why I'm not too concerned about swarming hives. All my hives I run on 14 by 12 frames. Now, forgive me, I don't know what size the Langstroth hives are, or Langstroth frames are, but the normal ones that we use over here in the, st in the UK are the British standard deep frames. And so the 14 by 12s are a little bit bigger than that. Um, obviously not as big, you know, there's not as, as much space in these hives as there are if you go double deep, so two deep boxes. But with a 14 by 12, I, I'm not worried about swarming, purely because of the fact that I know they have that extra space, they have that extra area which they can fill. Um, if I was on deeps, all my hives on deeps, I would now be a little bit panicky about swarming. And I probably would have done what um, uh, Black Mountain Honey did a little while back and, and potentially put in something like a, a, a super under, underneath or something like that. But because I'm running 14 by 12s, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about swarming. And I do feel that they're gonna be good for at least another couple of weeks, hopefully. But as far as beekeeping goes, what we're gonna be doing next week, hopefully, my season's gonna begin. Next week, hopefully, is when we're gonna start getting into our hives. There is the odd bee flying out of all the hives. I know they're all alive. I hefted Eve and she wasn't very happy about that, so she gave me a good old buzz as well. So I know all our hives are alive. I know all our hives are, are doing well. And like I said, the odd one's flying out as well. But I just wanted to answer those sort of bits, basically saying as to why we're not doing, when, like I said, so many people in the UK, over in different countries, are getting into the hives and I'm not. And like I said, my reasons behind that is because I knew this cold snap was coming and I really, really didn't want to mess them about too much with a cold snap coming. I just think it's sensible. Personally, my, my, my thoughts on it, other people might do differently, completely up to you. But that's all I wanted to really say. I hope you're well. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you're having a lovely day. Um, oh, actually, yes, I knew I was gonna say something. Um, I wanna correct something about one of my old videos, and I might do another little video about this at a later date when I just start doing splits. 
but I did split. So my, one of my videos, which has been quite popular, is my first attempt at split. And bearing in mind that was the first attempt at split. People have learned a lot since then, or I've learned a lot since then. And what I said in that video was that if I saw a queen cell, I was going to take the queen cell out and I was going to start a new hive of it. Now, obviously learned since then, not the best way to do it, because I'm just going a bit, oh, there we go. So the obviously not the best way of doing it, because if I split a hive, so if I split a hive where I take out a queen cell and put that in another one, so if a swarm cell, for example, that doesn't cure the swarminess of what that queen is. So she's already planned the swarm, so she's probably gonna swarm anyway. All you have done there is just remove the next queen for that hive, which obviously isn't very good. So to try and correct myself, when I'm doing a split, next time I'm doing a split, what I will be doing is I'll either be taking just frames and eggs and all that sort of stuff out, put them in a new hive. The queen goes with it great. But if there are swarm cells in there, what I will be looking at doing is taking out the original queen and leaving those cells there, not the other way around, which is what I think I said in my um, in one of my earlier videos. So I just wanted to correct myself there, um, just in case anyone is watching that and thinking, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. And people have learned from what I've said and said they've ended up with a nightmare as well. So that's, that's basically what I would correct. That being said, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're well, hope you're staying safe. I'm aware it's just an updated sort of video, but I just wanted to answer a couple of things were put to me, and I hope that gives you those answers. If you are here for the first time, please consider giving this video a like, comment, share, subscribe. You lot are amazing. Just nipped over 650 subscribers as well, so thank you so much to every single one of you. Have yourself a great day. All the best. Bye-bye.